टुडे आई टॉक अबाउट व्हाट भगवत गीता हैज टू से अबाउट एनलाइटनमेंट द एनलाइटनमेंट और द इंटूटिव वेकनिंग कम्स आफ्टर कंसिस्टेंट परस्यूट स्पैनिंग सेवरल बर्थ्स एंड लाइव्स ऑन अर्थ it can be compared with a man changing cars in a long journey with his luggage the luggage includes our desires and emotions having lived millions of lives in millions of bodies our desires and emotions such as love revenge guilt obligation remorse etc leave us our attachment to people and things become zero there is no more desire no more accounts to be settled with anyone which means there is no luggage and our spiritual pursuit becomes full fledged and uh, we jump to an awareness or awakening to the absolute meaning or absolute truth which is beyond explanation maya or illusion is cracked and uh, truth is revealed the observer and the observed are the same all the answers are, are now known and all the mysteries are cracked there is no difference between the subject and the object it is the ultimate union of god and human this intuitive awakening has different names such as enlightenment salvation liberation mukti moksha nirvana ultimate or absolute meaning ultimate destination etc etc bhagavad gita gives methodologies for enlightenment god krishna addresses the immediate concerns of a warrior prince arjuna who is hesitating to fight for righteousness and justice but most of god's advice deals with the bigger issues of a human predicament we cannot see a manual of directions and procedures towards answers the ultimate answer is intuitive we get only guidelines we get only sign boards in bhagavad gita and uh, the enlightenment transcends our reasoning and logic but we get uh, really worthy guidelines from uh, gita these are words of wisdom directly from god bhagavad gita is part of the indian epic uh, mahabharata written by vyasa who is a great uh, sage lived 5000 years ago this epic the biggest in history is believed as the description of actual events Vyasa is a relative of Kaurava and Pandava. This epic is the long story of the conflict between good and evil represented by Pandava and Kaurava. The Kurukshetra war takes place about 5000 years ago. Pandava are forced to fight against their cousins Kaurava who breached a covenant. and tried to destroy pandava many times to keep pandava away from power kaurava represented all the evil wickedness and vices in the world along with their hunger for power since pandava stood for justice and righteousness the ninth human incarnation of god that means krishna who is another cousin of pandava sides with the them and uh, becomes their godfather and that is the crucial advantage pandava have over kaurava though kaurava have about uh, 25% excess troop strength god krishna has also agreed to be the charioteer of arjuna the purpose of the ninth incarnation of god as krishna is to save the human race from the evil people mainly kaurava and restore righteousness among or dharma in the planet prince arjuna is the best fighter among pandava and duryodhana is the kaurava king it is assumed that their empire covered the whole planet at that time the average age of kaurava pandava 
and god krishna at the time of war is about 70 years this war lasts for 18 days the average age of death of pandava and god krishna was about 110 Pandava ruled the empire for about 40 years after winning this war motivational advice of god krishna to pandava prince arjuna at the beginning of the battle field in its uh, philosophical depth is uh, bhagavad gita <laughs> 